Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at a few new features from our latest point release, Liberty version 5, build 8.22. Managing borrowers in some new ways, especially for serial distribution, and significant updates to our mobile app are the two main areas of change, but we'll also have a quick look at a feature in acquisitions and some new ways to search the help area. So let's start out with those borrower options. If you have people register directly from OPAC, you may be aware that typically this button was labeled um, finish, I believe. There's a new option, which is uh, you can change so that instead you can complete um, the form here, but also add attachments. This is for organizations that for some reason or, or other uh, require new members to upload some kind of documentation. If that has value to you, change the parameter and you will change this button. I'll show you what that is in just a moment. But let's log in so I can show you some other things on the management side. And if we go to a borrower record, let's just kind of choose one at random. You'll also see that even the registration issue aside, you may have other reasons why you would find it valuable to attach files to borrower records. If that's the case, all you need to do is add this field called attachment. When you come up on version 8.22, it will not be there, but as many of you know, if you come here to Pages and turn that on, that allows you to add more fields to any form, and where you want to add it is into the Detail page, not the Editing page, so that you can get our standard Add Attachment, and choose the file, have the description default to the file name, adjust it if you need to. So if Adding attachments to borrow records has value. That's how to turn this on. And I said I would show you the parameters that control this. So let's go over to our parameter area. And here in circulation to borrowers, of course. Now if we go to the very bottom to see the newest changes, you'll see that although a new uh, Liberty upgrade would come in as a no, I have changed this to yes so that you can see adding attachments during registration. If you turn that on, it's a good idea to uh, set a size limitation, and we've allowed you to include all of these types of files. If for some reason you don't want to include them all, you can just select and remove them from the list and then uh, they won't be able to be uploaded. This last parameter I'm going to talk about later in the session, so just remember that here in the borrower parameters there is a new one to establish a default mobile user role, and I'll say more about that later. So let's go back to our borrowers and look at another feature that we've added. Borrower lists. So here are some examples. The concept of a borrower list is um, used in serials, and it is used uh, to be able to identify groups of people that probably have something in common and certainly that are useful to affiliate with content so that you don't have to name everyone individually. So, for example, if we just look at group number one here, you'll see that it's affiliated with five borrowers and that if you want to manage this group here, you can remove people or you can add new people to the group just by searching their name. So, putting people on and off from the point of view of the group, very easy. If I want to follow that usage to the group of people and look at uh, one of these staff, you'll see that as expected, she's affiliated with group one. If you edit the record, you'll see that it's very easy to add other groups. You can just search for them. It should feel a bit familiar. It should feel very much like using lists or reading lists and resources because we've designed it in the same way. And on that topic, 
the ability to add new borrowers or to get your first group of borrowers into one of the new borrower lists, you can just choose something common. I'm just going to do it for medical staff. Perform your search. And then, again, not unlike resources, you can manage your borrower list. I'm just going to create a new list called uh, medical staff and add that. And so these four people are now on that list. So how will we use the list? Again, here in Serials, in Subscriptions. Um, those of you who use Serials know that there are actually four different places where you might add borrower names. One is the email notification for doing uh, interest based on uh, electronic serial content. Also, if you manage desk sets or the classic serial um, physical issue or the paper table of contents. But in all of these cases, you're adding names for distribution. And what we, how we've enhanced this is that now, in addition to individual names, which are still there, you can also add the list. So, or I can show you something that has more than one. Okay, now if I add this list, these five borrowers, and I distribute right now, these five borrowers will also get the distribution. The advantage of using the list is that if over the next couple of days I add more people or take people away, and then I do another kind of distribution a few days from now, the people who are currently on that list are the borrowers who will get the distribution. And I know you'll want to know what if some of these five borrowers are also the individuals above? That's not a problem. We will not duplicate. So if there are emails, only one email. If it's a printed label or a slip, the name will appear only once. So I hope you can see the efficiency, if you have obvious groups, of being able to start out any distribution with a group and then perhaps on an as-needed basis add in individuals. So that's the new functionality uh, surrounding the borrower group. If you want more information, as always, you can click on Help. Um, I want to uh, point uh, something out, which is that you're used to seeing filters at the top of Help. I'm just going to do a request for borrower list, just so I can point out. The good help messages, they're here. But what you did not see was filtering from above to only be in serials. And that is an option that you can take through a new parameter. This is a new feature that we've uh, added to change the way that people search help. Not help itself and not the initial filtering, but the way that people search help. So uh, let me leave help and go back over to parameters for a minute and we have a new parameter 1400 easy to remember and that is here how you enable that difference in search so i have said i no longer want the context filters i've changed it to no you can use the value of yes or no it arrives with a yes which means it works the way that it always has the next thing I wanted to discuss was a new feature for acquisitions, but actually the best place to discuss it is here in BibType. So, as you may remember, we have always described kinds of materials by whether or not they should have physical copies. And um, some time ago it said merely yes or no, and more recently some materials are never, some are always, and some are sometimes, just to cover the complexity of materials that we manage. But in acquisitions, you could not order something for a bib type that uh, said it did not have copies. In the old days, no, now, never. And we've changed that to allow it so that the ordering of uh, electronic resources or ebooks or um, I guess you could order a website, but uh, the majority of the requests are to manage electronic resource. 
and changes had to be made to accommodate that. So we've now removed the restrictions so you can place orders on materials, whether they should ever have copies or not. So we hope you'll get uh, value from that. The next thing I want to show you uh, is about the mobile app. And since I can't really show you the mobile app in the midst of a Liberty screen, I've uh, grabbed some images for you. The first thing is that we've changed the name. It is no longer called Library Link, but is now called Liberty Link. It is, in fact, a new app and uh, available now in both the Apple and Android um, app stores. There is this new application called uh, Liberty Link. If you already have Library Link, it will not only work with the software you have now, but even when you upgrade to 822, it will still work, but you will not see any of the new features that I'm about to show you. And if you want to download Liberty Link now, it will work with older versions of Liberty with the features that were uh, active then but you will see the new features when you upgrade to 822 or higher. So let's see what those new features are. First of all, there's a new look, and here's an image of it. Uh, notice that we've added uh, filters for the keyword searching, uh, very similar to the radio buttons in uh, Liberty Search or OPAC. The My Messages area uh, from typically interest uh, can now be deleted. We've broken loans into uh, current loans, which are uh, traditional circulation print and electronic loans. And the library homepage information boxes will now function as expected. By that I mean if there's a URL in the box and it's tapped, it will open a new window and display the wanted content. Um, with the usual caveats if you know, the user has access to that area. Also, if you have put a search within an information box, when tapped, it will perform that search. And both the new items and the reading list areas now will present sets of uh, results that look like this. So if um, you are, if you have uh, put into your reading list images or hierarchies, those will display in the reading list area, but once you tap at the lowest level so that you expect to see results, again, the results will look like this. And if you use Easy Read with OverDrive, or I should also add Wheelers, the new mobile app will support Hold loans, and also uh, selecting other formats, which are sometimes available on some of your uh, e-content. And finally, optionally, you can offer all or some users the ability to circulate. Scanning, of course, um, also borrowing items, returning items, and uh, reserving items. So all of those features will be available in the mobile app. And now I want to take you back to Liberty so that I can show you some things we've put in place there to make these things optional. So once again, back to our borrower record. <clears throat> we have a new field, <clears throat> which is the mobile, uh, the mobile user role. Now, when you first upgrade to 822, it will be blank, and that's fine. Remember that I showed you a parameter where you had a default role. And that default role is typically mobile or mobile circulation, and that is the way in which you control if all of your users or some of your users have the searching experience that you've always had or you want to also offer them circulation. So you can leave this blank. Uh, it might make sense to set the parameter to one or the other of those options, but for any given users, you can set them to a different set of roles. <clears throat> if that is blank and the parameter is blank, Liberty still needs um, some set of roles, and so what we will do is take 
the rules from here, which are typically uh, OPAC only, and will function uh, much as the mobile app always has. So if we just take a quick look at how we put those things together, um, here in the user role, you'll see when you come up on 22, two new roles that weren't there before. One is mobile, and that includes mobile basic privileges, which give your user the mobile app as OPAC, um, I, or searching. I'm, I'm not sure how to characterize it exactly. But if you change them or default everyone to mobile circulation, they'll have not only those, but also the mobile circulation options. And these options are quite similar to self-circulation as people experience it in OPAC. And they also set several of the override situations where alerts might come or not uh, in a way that is appropriate for um, mobile apps. So that's the way in which you'll have control over uh, which kind of mobile app your users uh, will be using. And if you already are using the mobile app, these things will be available for you. If you would like to use the mobile app but have not, as I mentioned, both of the applications are available in the stores free of charge. For them to function with your Liberty, there needs to be a small change made to Liberty. And if you contact support, we will see if that change can be done immediately um, as part of uh, your current services or if that will be available for you sometime in the future. So we hope that these new features that we've added to Liberty, as uh, we do with every point release, you find uh, continue to increase the value of Liberty for you. And thank you for making the time today.